Believe me, I thought it will never happen to me because I tend to get out every day. I like my socializing. I like my daily walks. Hello, my name is Elmira Strange and welcome to my channel. And in today's video, we are discussing the five worst things about working online and working from home. Well, the first thing is, is your own responsibility. It is up to you when you want to start your job, when you want to finish it, when to take breaks, when you are having your day off or weekend off or your holidays, isn't it lovely? However, with this comes your own responsibility for doing the job because there is no supervisor or manager or any boss that breathes on your neck and saying, is it done yet? Where, when is your deadline? It is up to you what you want to do today and how much you want to finish it. And sometimes, believe me, it's not easy. You wake up in the morning, you stretch and you go for your breakfast, for your coffee with croissant especially if you're somewhere like european city barcelona where everybody's going for a coffee outside after that you have to come home and actually start working well if the day is good and the sign shines or anything like that well actually all right i am in russia at the moment i am in moscow so the weather is not that great outside at the moment it's only plus two even though it's end of april sorry um it's beginning of may the temperature outside is really cold um even though i am in moscow and in moscow it's not the coldest city in russia believe me so i wake up in the morning whenever i want to usually about from 7 to 9 a.m whenever i feel like it i go to to the kitchen i have my breakfast i have my coffee and i'm in a relaxed mood and now i need to start working what do you have to do it because this is your work this is what brings you earnings your money for the day for the week for the month and the next thing which is actually kind of correlates with the first one is that working from home or working online usually means that you are self-employed you are doing your own taxes you record your own expenses um, and your earnings and before I started working for myself, I thought that I'm quite a disciplined person and it would be quite easy to do for me. Well, not easy, a quite simple process, straightforward process. You just record everything that comes in and goes out and in the end of the year you do your taxes, no problem. In reality, it is much more difficult than it sounds. Because if you didn't record something straight away, that for example, you went to the shop and bought some little thing for your camera, some little bit for equipment for your cameras, even it's batteries. And you decided that no, you're going to claim expenses on that because it comes to you. It comes for your camera, which is your um, business equipment. If you didn't put it straight away, the copy of your check, because you have to take a photograph and you have to store it somewhere, you have to open a file where you write down or type, um, type in your expense. Um, so if you didn't do it straight away, the next day you are more likely to forget to do it. Two, three days later, it kind of goes on a back shelf for doing it a bit later. And in no time it accumulates to the point where you feel like you nearly have to start the whole year of taxes, of records. Again, it, especially it concerns those people who have multiple streams of income. The income comes from different places and so are the expenses. It's not just the same expense every time, the same income every time, like you would have as you are employed, typically. Well, you don't actually record there anyway, anything, unless you want to. But when you're working as self-employed, it's a different game. It becomes more complex and you have to do it regularly and on time, preferably. And it's very easy to let it go and it goes out of your control immediately. The next thing is, if you are self-employed, it means you have to pay your own sick pay or holiday pay. Before I started working online, it was my dream to work from home, to work online, to become location independent, to become a digital nomad, in other words, to travel the world and all that. I thought that I can have as many days off and holidays as I want to. Well, when nobody's paying your holidays, or sick pay, you end up working on your holidays and when you are sick. So ask any online entrepreneur, they actually tend to work more 
than they did when they were employed. Believe me, it's true. I won't be lying if I would say at least 90, maybe even 95% of business owners, whether it's online or offline, they work more than 40, 45 hour week like you would do when you are employed. Just bear that in mind. Nobody is paying you sick or holiday pay. And the last thing I would say, the worst thing is that before I started working online again, I have heard from people who are working from home that sometimes they don't get out of the house for like three days in a row. Believe me, I thought it will never happen to me because I tend to get out every day. I like my socializing. I like my daily walks. Well, sitting in Russia and looking through the window, seeing that it's only plus two degrees, like now, or minus 15 when you're in winter, or even colder than that. Do you really want to get out outside? You start thinking, do you need to go to the shop for anything? Is there enough food in the fridge? If the answer is yes, there is enough food in the fridge and you really don't need anything else from the shop, the chances are you don't get out. Because to go for a walk, it's a little bit crazy unless you really, really, really love cold for months and months on end. So you don't get out. You don't get out for about two, three days. And it's crazy. And then you think to yourself, wow, I actually signed up working from home where there is hardly any socializing. I hardly ever get out of the house. Saying that, it does depend on your location. It depends on where you are. I am talking about it because I am, for the, for the last year, I am in Russia. However, I've been in the UK for, during the winter for two months where I was getting out of the house every day. So it depends, it really depends. Sometimes you think, do you really want to get out and spend more money? Because every time you get out, you tend to spend money. And if the answer is no, and you don't really need to go to the shops, then you kind of stay at home for days on end. So this is it about the downsides of working online or working from home. I hope you can see clear that there is a really good balance between the positives and the downsides. So it's not all rosy as we think when we're thinking, I would love to work from home. You have to consider it. If you're a sociable person, then you might struggle. That's the bottom line. So if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, then I can see that you are interested in these kind of videos and I can create more of them. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.